Whitney's in from the uh, city. They got the uh, city. The city. Ain't no city. Well, whatever. The, the city. The town. <laughs> the city. Uh, downtown slow. Uh, farmer's market, of course, tonight. What What is the minimum number for you to consider something a city? I don't even. Oh, gosh, I, don't I don't even know. think about it. I just city, town, same thing. I say. I only responded to it because a lot of people think we work for the city, but we are separate from the city. Uh, no, you're your own entity. Yes, we are a you're downtown slow. Do you consider San Luis Obispo a city? Yes. Do you not? Yeah, I mean, everybody says the city of San Luis Obispo. Oh, you don't get paid by the state of California then. This is a no. total private thing. This is a nonprofit. She's not, yeah, she's not government. I'm not government. Do you have to she's pay the city to call yourself downtown slow? I mean, is there naming rights? I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't think they... Can they, I just call myself, you know, whatever? I don't think they own, like, the copyright Uptown of Slow? San Luis Uptown Obispo. UptownSlow.com? Sure. If I was San Luis Obispo, I would own you the know, acronym SLOW, of course. You know, we own a website. We being my family. You do? Yeah. It's iHeartSlow.com. Do you really? We own that domain, yeah. I don't so know. now you're going to get sued by iHeart and SLOW. I don't know why. Um, because tried- you went on this tangent bought it. five, t- six years ago. You were buying all these website domains. We bought it. Because they were uh, like five bucks. No one tries to buy it from you? Nobody has tried to buy it for it, which is huh. which is strange because there's a lot of that space yeah. in the area yeah. that would benefit from it. But um, yeah, I, I think we were going to sell t-shirts or something. I don't know. But we still we p- we pay the annual fee because we know that it's not a bad one to be parked on. No kidding. How many websites do you own now? <laughs> I think we've trimmed. I think that's it. Oh no! No, come on! <laughs> no, I don't. Come on! No, that's it. You own Barfly dot com still, or whatever it was? No, that was my friend's. Oh, Barfly Okay, it was a good idea at the time, and that was they were going to. This was before the surveillance age. Mm. But my friends Vince and Joel bought Barflies dot com, and they were going to convince bar owners in Seattle to allow them to put up a webcam in their oh in their bar. And it's so funny because now in this day and age, like everybody be like, yeah, sure. Do whatever you want. Yeah. But then in the Whole privacy thing. late nineties, people are like, you're not sticking a camera in yeah. a bar, you creeper. So they ended up not, not having a, <laughs> like they had like two bars signed on and that was it. But the, his whole, friends, the whole premise was Joel and you whatever could check from was. home to see what the scene was like at the bar. Right. They had a lot of these the, ideas. Go to the bar that you wanted to go <laughs> to. It was usually after drinking several so, beers. Really I mean, that's good, how great ideas start. It was a really good, it wasn't a bad idea. I mean, it was, it was a, it was a great idea at the time because there was no, funny. there was no Foursquare. There was no, right. so, you know, Facebook, there's no checking in anywhere. It was just, you know. You look at a camera, and you're like, yeah, it looks like it's pretty hopping down at yeah. the J&M Cafe. Let's go down there. And then you go down there. It's like what Instagram stories are now. Like you check Instagram stories to see what what's people happening. Are doing, yeah. Didn't you have don't be a fool, stay in school? Yes. <laughs> Dot com? Dot com. <laughs> Do you still have that? No. I let it go. <laughs> But when GoDaddy called me up, the guy was like, because, you know, what they do is that you buy the domain. Yeah. And then GoDaddy, like, calls you immediately. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you know what you got to do is you got to start your website and you got to uh, buy your website through us, blah, blah, blah. And uh, and I was taking a nap that afternoon. And I remember getting woken up by the call from GoDaddy <laughs> and the guy saying, so I see here. And, you know, it's obviously something that they're just going through the form and they're going through the motions. And he started cracking up laughing in the middle of reading the domain name. He's like, so I see you bought don't be a fool, stay in school dot <laughs> com. And he goes, and he stopped his whole sales pitch and he said, What do you plan on doing with that? Nice. I like that. Go off the script there. Just sitting on it until somebody <laughs> offers me a million dollars. I was like, I was thinking, you know, maybe, maybe college tutoring side. I don't know. I have no idea. Wow. Um, all right. Whitney, when I say to you a name that you associate with crazy, what is the first name that comes to mind? Every, oh, gosh. We have some bad news for you, by the way. All right. Crazy? Yeah. When you think of this name, you think of Crazy Town. Like a, a famous person? No, just a person's crazy. Just people that have this name are crazy. A general name. I'm thinking too much well, now. You're stalling way too much. No, just I, blurt it out. Crazy? Yeah. I don't know. I, for me, it was Amber. And for me, it was Heather. Whoa. Yeah. I don't associate a name with just like crazy. Ashley says Whitney. Thanks, Ashley. Uh, also, do you know Ashley Cantor? <laughs> Ashley Cantor? Yeah, wait, no, I'm saying it wrong. No, no, Cantor. Cantor? Yeah. She also said Stacy Stephanie. I feel Stephanie. like I should know who that is. She said Stacy Stephanie, Christine Tracy as well. So I was trying yeah. to I do mean, a Whitney social... I mean, Whitney does have some crazy people associated with it. Like Whitney, Whitney Houston? Houston. Ah! <laughs> Buy me a Coke. 
<laughs> Were you named after? Whitney? No. <laughs> no, I was not. Um, the, the, I was trying to do a social experiment because every woman that wrote in s- said all women's names. I mean, huh. for example, Ashley said Stacy, Stephanie, Heather, Whitney, Christine, Tracy, and she even said some Ashley she knows are I mean, pretty crazy. My head went to like which women's names mm. do I associate with? Yeah, why not a man's I don't know. name? I why do we why? think women are just crazy? I feel like I because- wonder why. <laughs> Why do automatically like, do all people's name all people's minds go to just women's names? But then there's shows like Dear John. Uh, John yeah. could be crazy. True. Dear John is nuts. Did you show her the picture? Yeah, I saw yeah, the picture. She saw the picture. Oh, okay. One of my friends. I didn't know if you want to talk about it. One of my this daughters. Is cr- one of my, uncanny crazy. One of my Assembly. daughters. Um, well, you're you're going to give all the details. Now. Yeah, you are. One of my one of the people my daughters knows, or one of the, I guess her class. One of your daughter's friends' dads, classmates. Right? I don't know if they're friends. Classmates' dads looks exactly like Eric Bana, but like from Eric, Dear John. Eric Bana from Dear John. <laughs> I mean, I like, mean, it's like it's, wow, it's, it's it's uncanny. I mean, you would think what like, superhero did he play before that? Wasn't he like a like the Hulk or something? Oh, I don't what know. Was Eric Bana? I don't end of the superhero movie, so I'm not either. You know, but I feel like I, you've he played seen like him a... before, though, because when he was in Dear John, I was like, "Wow, right. this guy looks familiar." Was he the Hulk? He wow. The... What else has he done? Anything that's maybe it's just in my what wife. Have you been up to Eric? My Bana? wife likes to watch those homework movies and Lifetime, and maybe he's in those. One of the fifty. Because I think that show was on Lifetime, wasn't it? The Dear John yeah. series, either A and E or Lifetime. Yeah, it was one of those two. Anyways, um, yeah, all women are saying uh, here's uh, you know women's names. <laughs> It's Which so is funny. weird. Uh, was it Dee Dee said Tina? Um, Tina. <laughs> I know crazy <gasps> Tina. I do know crazy Tina. You do? I refer to her as crazy Tina. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nobody wrote Jackie. That's huh. another one that I think all Jackies. Which Jackie short for Jacqueline? Anyways, I don't, all, know. I don't know. We have a we have a friend that we call Wacky Jackie, yeah, Jackie. And, she, and she now she now has embraced it, and she actually buys clothes, even shoes that say Wacky Jackie on them. Where does she find such things? I don't know. Probably eBay or Amazon. <laughs> Good old Amazon. Stephanie, Sarah, Amy, Lauren, Whitney. So basically all women's <laughs> names. Yeah, nobody said. One guy, Mark. And, and, oh, and Brett said uh, <laughs> yesterday, Donald Trump. Uh, so. <laughs> Eric Bana has a terrible agent. Oh, no. Because he just had some Because real... he went from Hulk to <laughs> Dear John. He killed the Hulk. Okay? How long ago was the Hulk 2003. movie? 2003. Woo. That's I think. See, the problem with Dear John is, I think that is a career ender for him. I don't think anybody will be able to no, separate him right, from he's that. I walked into a guy that looked like him, and I thought it was him, and I was like, I, 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 You yeah. get scared, I got you're like, I gotta, scared. I gotta yeah. move, I gotta get out of here. Just by bumping into a guy that looked like him. <laughs> it wasn't even him. Uh, <laughs> let's talk farmer market, Farmer's Market tonight. Sure. It's May, right? We're so excited. Oh, it's That's, crazy. I'm sure oh. there's a bunch of new uh, fun things to taste and Not try. It's going to be May. It is May. It is May. It is May. It's going to be May. It is May. It is May. So we can stop with Here the we just, are. Justin Timberlake. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I I didn't do that for her. It's her it That's her generation. Year. Next year. Next, The last week of April, next year. You guys can break that back out. <laughs> what are you doing on Saturday? Are you going to celebrate May the 4th be with you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you even know what that is? Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, like Star Wars? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course. Disneyland. Hello. Okay. I know. You want to go back into the Disneyland conversation? Is Disneyland opening Star Wars Land on Saturday? No. No. They Wait, should have. End oh, of the month. Right. They should have, though. They should have. They're, they're doing like special stuff that day. Are you a bigger kind of... Disney dork than this guy? Mm, I don't think so. She, no, you are. Because I'm not. No. I, don't, I don't. I was stalking you on Instagram or something, and I saw you and your mom. And you had pictures of like when you were a little girl, yep. and then like there today, we are, recreating and I, okay, it. and you were all Disneyed yep. up. No, yeah, you're a Disney dork. You, uh-huh. love, you love Disney for love you. Love it. I love Disney for my kids. Like once yeah. my kids are past Disney, I'm ready. You're over it. I'm ready for Space Mountain. Okay, okay? I'm ready to graduate. <laughs> I'm ready for Universal Studios. <laughs> oh my! See, Doing I Lego. love Universal Studios. I've been there in so long. I, I heard that place forever. is pretty awesome. I'm already starting to lobby. I was like, hey. I think the kids are old enough for Universal Studios. Do they like Studios. Harry Potter? And I mean, well, they they have the minions there. My daughter there. does like the, the Harry Potter, but I mean, it's it is it is probably for a little bit older kids. Yeah. I, I try to think the first time I went to Universal Studios, I think I was in fifth grade, and it was there was some stuff that was still a little over my yeah speed at that at that point in time. So I got a while. What's going on tonight at the market? Cal Poly Egg Drop. You know what that is. Yes, it's been on the news forever. Has they, it? They, they, they wrap an egg, a raw egg, you know, a chicken egg that hasn't been cooked mm-hmm. in some sort of like, 
you know, um, and cushioning, pow, uh, pa, what am I trying to say? Packaging. Uh, pack, not packaging. I mean, it's Protective packaging. coating? Yep. Um, no. Um, no, God. <laughs> Can't think of what I'm trying Protection? to say. Protection? Yeah, something like that. Bubble wrap. And it'll come Styrofoam? to me. <laughs> oh, Star- gosh. Styrofoam allowed? Protect- I don't yeah. know. And they drop it off of... Uh, a building or a or a Drop lift it off or a something. scissor lift thirty lift. feet in the air, and, and then if the egg doesn't break, then they win. Oh, first place is three hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, I'm getting a styrofoam container, and I'm taking. I'm 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 entering it. <laughs> I'm entering. You have it to in. be a Cal Poly student. Oh, okay. I don't think anyone can padding roll is what it. I was trying to say. They ah. they wrap it. But in you can't use padding. styrofoam, right? I don't know. The only rules that I saw were no parachutes. Can't weigh more than a pound. Uh, I didn't see any like. Well, everybody's gonna put it in styrofoam then. I don't know. I or, think, what about a water balloon? Would that be frowned upon in San Francisco? Oh, maybe. What if you suspended the egg in a water balloon? Nah, it might. It might. Yeah, yeah, might not it would. It would break when it, it would hit break, the ground. Yeah, because the egg would go to the bottom. Yeah, it wouldn't go to the top. So they're doing that tonight. Yeah, that's on entertaining. Street. Huh? That's yeah. entertaining. Thirty feet in the air, watching eggs fall. Grab a slice or a rib and just gnaw on it while you, you watch. <laughs> watch an egg splatter. <laughs> splatter all over. <laughs> or the not splatter. Or not. I know. I'm kind of excited. If you're to see a Cal Poly it. student and you got an entry into this, uh, well, just use styrofoam. What happens That's if there's multiple do. winners? Do they have to split the 350? I don't. Or there's do a first, second, and third. Mm. Um, but I don't know. I, I think there's like a judging table, maybe, because I think it has to do with the packaging department, which their whole thing is to learn how to design and create marketable packaging. Oh, so styrofoam's so, out because it's not yeah, marketable. Yeah, maybe. And so maybe part of it is like, what does it look like? Could it be distributed in retail? I don't know. But oh yeah! I don't it's think it's as easy as like stuff. wrap it up in bubble wrap and like call it Jello a day. or something. But like bouncy Jello. Jello, not just Jello that we make in the kitchen, but like a Jello type mold. Gelatin. It was a gelatin thing. type thing that egg was suspended in. Yeah, I don't know. Come check it out. It should be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah but it. that's not very good for shipping. The gelatin, Jello. <laughs> I mean, just, that's not How's good. that going to get through Texas? <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> Texas <laughs> in the summertime on a FedEx <laughs> truck is not good. Uh, all right, so what else is going on? We have Gerald Purify performing on Osos, Anthony Roselli on Moro, Lauren Radis on Choro, Simple Harmonic on Broad, and Joseph and the Followers on Napomo. So all sorts of entertainment everywhere. And then we have Slow Sweets coming out. They're going to be serving gelato outside of kind of where Abercrombie is in the 900 block of Higuera. If you're into gelato, their gelato that would is really make good. Ice cream. That would make- it's pretty much ice cream. That's what gelato Wait, is. What it's is, a little different. What but is gelato? It's like ice cream, but it's... One time I looked it up, and I unfortunately I don't remember what it is. It's like has to do with the way they make it. Yeah. There's like less air. Maybe? It's more water, isn't it? Is it more ice than it is? I don't know. Which is weird because ice cream you would think would be more ice. But, but I feel like it's smoother. Jeff's looking it up. It's turned at a much slower rate, See? incorporating less yeah. air and leaving the hey, gelato I was right. less denser air. than ice cream. Yeah, they have it at the California. It's also Festival served now. at a slightly Pretty warmer good. temperature than yeah, ice so it's cream. Yeah, it's softer. Yeah. Um, so it makes the texture silkier I mean, and I'm softer. What else produce-wise? Produce. In season right now, we have artichokes, cauliflower, leeks, Brussels sprouts, kale. Oh, I love that. And yeah. I found the daikon radish. Have you ever had one of those? No. Kind of looks like a giant white carrot. Do you watch just just um, Ad Magic? It's a kid's show on no, Amazon Prime. I don't. It's the Daikon Radish sounds like something that the girls would use in really? just Ad Magic. Yes. Well, it's a. Don't teach my daughter that. <laughs> don't teach my daughter Daikon Radish. Because I can't wait till your kids I, start watching I, normal shows. I will not stop. We all know. I will not heard of. stop hearing about the Daikon oh, Radish. Oh gosh. Well, you don't even have to bring it up ever again. Do you like horseradish? Yes. It kind of has like the taste profile of a horseradish. Oh, cool. Okay. But you can daikon like radish. dice it up like a sweet potato and make French fries. So you could kind of have like baked. Or radish flavored. I think this is a good idea. Gosh, that sounds amazing. Get some aioli, right? That sounds really good. Yeah, I'm into it. Like so, a lot better than a potato. Yeah. Like a thousand times better than a yes, potato. Yes, I finally found one that you're into. Where, is, where, where is this daikon radish going to be? At the Galv Farm. It's outside of the Apple Store at the Farmer's Market. Okay, good. Pick some up. You know. In between your egg drops. That cherry moya running yeah. around. Down, not everybody had a cherry moya. I know. And I felt like everybody I went to didn't have one. There was only one I, vendor that had it. Yeah, I finally... And he only That's has- why you come in. You tell you tell us the diamonds in the rough. That's right. In the in the everyone uh, has farmers lettuce. Market. Let's yeah. find the little hidden gems. Yeah. So outside the Apple Store. Yes. Okay. Cool. Galve Farm. All right then. All right, crazy. <laughs> crazy Whitney here with we'll- another roundup of Farmers Market. Get the daikon <laughs> radish. Get the daikon radish. We will see you at six o'clock. <laughs> Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.